What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Khalifa Zai, and I am back with another video. I'm getting a late start today. It is already after one o'clock. Reason being is because I was extremely tired after my drive back from uh, South Carolina slash North Carolina yesterday. As you guys saw in the video previously, I stopped through uh, Florence, South Carolina to hang out with my boy Matt. Uh, there was a car show going on. Great show. Really enjoyed myself, but I didn't get to Atlanta until just after 10 o'clock by the time I had uh, checked in. Man, it's just been a whirlwind. I've been busy on the go the entire 30 days that I've been here. And now my vacation is coming to an end. I've got basically today and tomorrow left. Uh, and then I fly back out to Japan. But, like I said, I got to get a, a COVID test. Has to be negative, And it's supposed to be within 72 hours of you uh, departing. Unfortunately, all of the COVID testing centers are closed on the weekend which means I can't get my test until tomorrow morning and I fly out Tuesday morning so if my results aren't back that could pose a problem uh, hopefully that won't happen and it won't come to that but if it does I don't know I might have to come out of pocket and buy my own ticket back to Japan but I don't think that's going to be the case. At least I pray that's not going to be the case. But anyway, I'm going to go get something to eat. And I don't know what else I'm going to get into. I hit my son up. I was going to go hang out with him. But unfortunately, he's busy right now. Um, he's with his girl. So I'm going to let him do what he do. Maybe I'll catch up with him either this afternoon or this evening or tomorrow morning uh, I'll link up with him spend one last day with him before I uh, take off but I got a lot of stuff to do anyway I gotta do laundry and all kinds of other stuff I need to take care of so I'll get that stuff taken care of that'll keep me busy today and then I'll link up with him tomorrow uh, yeah that's all I've got going on right now so you guys just stay tuned rock with me and we'll see what else we can get into. Just pulled up at Chef Rob's Cafe. Uh, it's a J Jamaican restaurant right around the corner from the hotel that I'm staying in. And what is that in front of me right there? Another Honda, AKA Tesla. I swear on the way here, I must have passed at least eight of them. These cars are more common than Hondas, which is why I call them Hondas. But anyway, I'm about to go in here and pick up my food. And then I'm going to shoot back over to the hotel. Eat, grab my laundry, go knock my laundry out, and then figure out something else to get into. I'm going to pack and organize all of my stuff so I don't have to worry about that tomorrow. And then I can just spend tomorrow doing whatever I want to do and spend time with my son before I fly out. But anyway, you guys stay tuned. I'm going to cut you guys back on once I get my food and get back to the hotel and give you a review of the food. If it's good, I'll let you know it's good. If it's not, then I'm going to say so. So just stay tuned. Got the food. Now it's time to hit the room. 
hopefully, uh, I don't know, order something different today, so. The food I've ordered from there before uh, was, pr was pretty good. So hopefully, this is as well. Like to try to switch it up sometimes. But we'll see what happens. And once I get back to the hotel room, I'll turn you guys back on. I need to pay attention because, like I've said many times, people in Atlanta cannot drive. And just in case my son's watching, that may include you. I don't know. <laughs> I've never actually been in the car with him. But no, I take that back. I have been in the car with him when he was working on getting his license while he was in Japan still with me. And he was a pretty careful driver, but he's been here for since 2000, when did he get in, 2014, 13, 14 when he came to college. So Atlanta may have rubbed off on him. Maybe he can't drive either. But anyway, like I said, I'll cut you guys on once I get back to the hotel room. I'm gonna stop and grab gas. Finally made it back to the room. For anybody that knows me, you know that red velvet cake is my weakness. It reminds me of my mother because my mother bakes red velvet cakes. Mac and cheese bigger portion than I thought they must like me rice and peas steamed cabbage and jerk chicken now I'm not going to sit here and eat on camera but I am going to at least taste it and let you all know what it tastes like rice and peas not too bad should have put some uh, gravy on it. Check the steam cabbage. Not too bad, but you can't mess up steam cabbage. Now for the jerk chicken. It doesn't appear that it was made on a grill. I think this is oven. Yes, yeah, oven cooked. It's not bad, it's good. But it just doesn't have that that authentic jerk taste from when you when you cook it on the grill. But anyway, I'm going to cut this off so I can smash this food and I will get back to you guys in a bit. Now that I'm finished with my lunch, I'm going to walk downstairs, check out the rest of the hotel because I didn't check it out once I got here last night due to the fact that it was already late. So I got to go downstairs, see if they got a laundry room. If not, then I'm going to have to find somewhere to go do my laundry. But that's the plan for the rest of the day. I need to get stuff knocked out. Wash my laundry, get everything folded, get my luggage and everything set for Tuesday. Leave out two outfits. Uh, one I'll wash tomorrow and the other one will be what I wear when I head back to Japan. But I'm going to take you guys downstairs and we're going to see what's down there together.
So apparently this hotel does not have a laundry room. I'm gonna have to go find somewhere to do my laundry at. Glad I checked instead of waiting to the last minute. But I'm sure there has to be one somewhere close. But anyway, I guess I will have to go for a ride and look for a laundry room. That's my next task. Well, it's the next day, hence why there's a different color shirt on. I'm on my way to get my COVID test. I went yesterday to try and get it, but uh, for some reason, when I went online to make the appointment, it allowed me to make the appointment. But when I got there, I guess there was a mix up and I wasn't I wasn't able to get it. So I'm headed there now to get my COVID test. And once I'm done getting my COVID test. In a quarter mile, use the second from the left lane to turn left onto Roswell Road. All right, lady. Once I'm done getting my COVID test, I'm going to do my laundry and go hang out with my son because today is my last day here in Atlanta. I fly Use the out from the left lane to turn left onto Roswell Road. Then your destination will be on the right. I fly out tomorrow morning, bringing my vacation here in the States to an end. Uh, it's bittersweet. I've enjoyed myself while I've been here. Uh, a lot of things have changed in the past three and a half years or so. But I'm looking forward to going back home. Uh, I miss my own things, sleeping in my own bed. Of course, my dog, my bike, my truck, driving my own stuff. Uh, not looking forward to going back to work. Even though I do love my job, it's just that after a vacation such as this, I'm going to need another vacation. But unfortunately, I land at like nine something at night and I have to be at work the very next morning because I have to do some closeout stuff for uh, the government. Yeah. So, no rest for the weary, as old folks like to say. I will be jumping straight into work, but luckily, that will be a Thursday, uh, and I'm off on Fridays. Your destination is on the right. So, I literally have to go to work for one day, and then afterward, I will be off. But I'm pulling up at the spot now where I will be getting my COVID shot. And I don't want no ish because I have the very first appointment at 08. And right now the time is 05, I'm at 0758. Uh, so I'm the first one up. I will catch you guys in a sec. Just finished getting my PCR test and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So the first time I had ever gotten a COVID test was like last year. I had to go to a doctor's appointment and while I was in Japan. And in order to go see the doctor the Japanese at the Japanese hospitals, they require you to get a COVID test prior to coming in. So I got my COVID test and I swear it felt like they were taking a Q-tip and trying to hit the back of my brain. But I guess something's changed and maybe they realize they don't have to go as deep. But she only went right inside the, probably about halfway into my nostril, took the two swabs and that was it. So now I have to wait. 
It's only two hours. Uh, it's a two-hour wait time. And I'll have my results. They're going to email them to me. And I'll also be able to stop back by here and pick up a, a hard copy to carry with me just in case there are any issues when I board the plane. And it appears that we have some action going on down here. I don't know if you all can see that, but off in the distance right there, a cop is having a run-in with someone. I guess, I guess he was hanging out at the local Goodwill, maybe he's homeless or something. But one of the workers at the drop-off uh, point had just come out the door and pointed him out to the cops. So I guess the cops making the guy leave. Now another cop just pulled up. Really doesn't take two cops to do that, but I guess they're bored. Anyway, I'm going to get on the road and go knock out my laundry. I will turn you on. I'll turn you guys back on later. Before I go knock out my laundry, I needed to stop by FedEx because I forgot. I still need to ship this piece off. It's a lens. It's a tinted lens cover for Hayabusa, but it's for a first gen that I ordered off eBay. And I have a second gen, so I need to mail this back to the guy that sent it to me and get my money back. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to run into FedEx, get this shipped off. Then I'm going to shoot over to the laundromat, do my laundry, and I will cut you guys back on later. Now that I've gotten everything out of the way that I needed to have done as far as my COVID test, um, laundry, I actually had to buy another suitcase because, yeah, I'm going back with more than I thought I was, uh, more than I came with, and more than I thought I was going to leave with. So now I'm headed over to my son's, and I'm going to chill with him for the rest of the day while I wait for my COVID test results to uh, come back. They said two hours, give or take. They're probably there now because I'd actually taken my COVID test at 8.30 and it's already 11.17, so I'm sure my tests are there. In my a quarter mile, turn right onto West Side Drive. Are there waiting for me? But anyway, I'm gonna go over and chill with my son for a little while, and then we'll go by pick up my results. Or I'll pick them up on the way back to my hotel, and Take then I'm gonna lock right myself. Okay, lady, you're loud. Then I'm gonna lock myself in my room for the rest of the evening. In preparation in a for my flight mile, tomorrow. At the traffic circle, take the first exit onto Sandtown Road Southwest. She about to give up my uh, my whereabouts. She dry snitching. But anyway, I'm going to see whether or not my son wants to be on camera. Like I said, I, I kept my daughter and my grandkids off camera. Uh just to keep their privacy and I'll see if my son wants to remain off camera as well but I'll turn you guys on once I get to his place just pull up at my son's crib now I'm about to go upstairs I know you guys can't really see me because of the shadows but I'm here Brought him some Chick-fil-A since I stopped and grabbed something on the way here. Can't eat without my son eating.
Then again, I don't know if he's going to eat it anyway. Because he was a vegetarian. We'll see. I know this dude ain't got me standing outside. I told him I'll be here at 11.30, it's 11.30. He knows I'm prompt. Probably in the shower. He's a last minute type of person. Yeah, I'm gonna be there at 11.30. He jumps in the shower at 11.30 to get ready. So I'm riding around my son and I'm not going to put him on YouTube because he doesn't want to be on camera. But I'm trying to find a place to get souvenirs for my friends in Japan. I can't believe this man just started a vlog right now. And yes, I started a vlog right now. As a matter of fact, this vlog is continuing from yesterday. So <laughs> he is a horrible tour guide. He has no idea where to buy touristy type items I'm not a tourist. I'm other than downtown Atlanta which I'm not trying to go downtown Atlanta I mean you might be able to find something in Marietta Square so we're gonna go to Marietta Square and see if we can find anything to take back to my friends in Japan I swear this guy's no help so I'm gonna take you all with me I'm gonna keep him off camera but I can assure you, he's here in the car with me. And I'm sure you guys can hear his voice. <sighs> in a quarter mile, turn right onto Hertz Ferry Road Northwest. Yeah. Anyway, I'll turn you guys back on once we get to Marietta Square. You suck. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not sure what neighborhood we're driving through. But it's rich. It's crazy. It's a rich neighborhood, I can say that. It's crazy nice over here. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Riverside Drive. There's definitely some money over here. Gated homes. Don't worry, you're not on camera. It's just a window. Kinda. Are you good being on camera? No. <laughs> Take the next left onto Riverside Drive. You said you good. It's a nice oh, one exactly. too, too, yeah. palm trees from I have no clue well they they probably ordered them and had them brought in sometimes I want to buy a house in the states just so I can have one but he would end up having to live in it because I don't plan on moving back at least not anytime soon but as I mentioned in one of my other vlogs, I haven't bought a house in Japan yet and don't know if I want to buy one in Japan because of the fact that you can't get any land in Japan. Your neighbor is literally your neighbor. The houses are so close together in Japan because they don't have a lot of land mass and they have a large population. So, anyway. I just wanted to turn this back on. In 800 feet, use any lane to take the I-285 west ramp. So you guys could uh, see the houses. Use any lane to take the I-285 west ramp. I'm going to turn it off now. And I will catch you guys as soon as we get to Marietta Square. Continue on I-285 west for three miles. As we try and find items 
that tourists would buy. <laughs> From my tour guy who doesn't know where we're going. <laughs> so I got the results back from my COVID test and I am COVID negative, which means I can go back to Japan without having to worry about buying a ticket later. That's good, right? Yeah, pretty good. Because a one-way ticket to Japan is very expensive. And I also escaped the monkeypox. Boy, y'all got some sh over here in America. I'm telling you. Even though the COVID numbers are rising in Japan, they still pale in comparison to the COVID numbers here in the States. And I could be wrong, but there was only one case of monkeypox in Japan when I left to come here. And they caught that individual as they were entering Japan. So I haven't kept up on the news there since I've been here. Other than the assassination of the former prime minister. But anyway, we're headed to, what are we going again? Marietta? Marietta Square. Mar Marietta Square. Yeah. Looking for... What are we looking for? Souvenirs. Oh, you want souvenirs, right? <laughs> souvenirs for my friends and family in Japan. Uh, I'm not sure we'll find anything. But we're going to look anyway. I needed to go buy the Mercedes Benz place. That just reminded me. Oh, is, there, is there one over there? I don't know if it's one over here, but I went to the one over by Sandy Springs. Anyway, I'm going to turn you guys off. I'll be back in a minute. So we made it to the square. i showed you guys my son from the back. He ain't going to turn around. Oh my God. So now we're going to do some super dead shopping so I can uh, get something for my friends when I go back to Japan. How you doing? I honestly don't know what to get them though. Do you think that's too long? Why? Guess I'll just get them something that says Georgia. Oh. Even though I've been to like four or five different states since I've been here. But it's a thought that counts, right? picked up about 20 pounds since I've been in the States. I'm definitely going on a diet once I get back to Japan. I feel fat as hell. If I look at food, I gain three pounds. See, your metabolism is extremely high right now. Mine was too until I turned about 35. Actually, you no, know, it was still high when I was in Iraq and Afghanistan. But anyway, like I said, once I get back to Japan, I'm going on a diet. And you guys are welcome to join me in my weight loss journey. I'll make sure I vlog the entire thing. And that is the cutest dog. <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> Let's walk through the park. It's a nice area around here. I never knew this ever existed. They got a museum of history back there. Yeah, there's an art museum here. Museum of history. Uh, there's like, there's like, this is like a really, really old area that's like, you know, trains used to come here. This used to be like a train hub. Um, so I'm letting you guys listen to me I mean look at me but listen to my son I don't know I don't know the history of that got a nice little fountain let's see what's 
A little train over here. Grover Park. Glover Park. Guess they've got their own little Liberty Bell. It's a very nice area though. Kind of historic. Why they got two clocks back to back? Got one clock right there and the other one right there. And the funny thing is, look, this one's faster than that one. You see it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the times are off on one of the clocks. But anyway, we're going to keep walking around. If I see anything else interesting, I'll cut you guys back on. Actually, I see something interesting over here. But it's gonna be B-roll, so stay tuned. So my son and I wandered into a store called The Local Exchange and I found some gifts for my friends. And I'm just gonna take you guys around the store really quick. It's a pretty nice store. With lots of local interesting things. As far as souvenirs are concerned. So it's a tradition in Japan that anytime you go somewhere, you bring back something from that area to share with your friends, co-workers, and colleagues. So I figured today would be the best day for me to do that because of the fact that I have nothing left to do. All of my stuff is done, my bags are packed, COVID test is done, and I'm ready to get on a plane tomorrow morning, so. Plus, it gives me time to hang out with my son. He's doing shopping as well. Not that he needs anything, but I guess he figured while he's in here, he might as well just buy something. It's a really nice store, really nice uh, staff members. So if you guys ever make it out to Marietta Square, pop in, take a look and see what they have. Everything in here is made locally. Bunch of barbecue sauces on this rack over here. And oils. Local candies. And snacks. And they 
and you got local drinks. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little store. I appreciate it. No and I'll make sure that when I get back to Japan, I'll look that up. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you a picture of that. I will get back to you guys in a second. Just dropped my son back off at home. And now I'm headed back to the hotel room. He's got to get some sleep because he goes to work tonight at 11. And I have nothing else to do for the rest of the day because, like I said... In half a mile, take exit 2627 for Glenridge Drive toward Glenridge Drive. so Con. rude. Okay. In half a mile, I'll get off. But, as I said, uh, he starts work at 11, so he has to get some sleep. Now I have nothing to do. Everything is Take packed. Take exit 2627, then uh, keep right to continue on exit 26. Laundry is done. COVID test done. Uh, and I just got off on the wrong exit. I keep doing keep this. Keep right I don't know to continue why. on exit 26. Oh, no, I'm going the right way. But, yeah. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Glen Ridge Drive. Okay, lady. This lady is bossy. Turn left onto Glen Ridge Drive. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. This is your boy Khalifa Saad checking out with another video. Make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. Turn it to all so that you know when I drop a new video. And with that, I'm out. Ah!